back to my channel. I'm Rachel, the owner and creator here at The Eclectic Cottage in Spokane, Washington. For today's video, I finished up another couple thrift flips for you. Uh, both of them I'm hoping to use in my Valentine's display that I am working towards building. And uh, this has been a little bit of a crazy week, just trying to get all of the Christmas stuff taken down, cleaned up, packed up, and put out in the shed, and uh, start kind of moving things around and getting ready for my spring displays uh, and then of course working on a few projects for Valentine's Day. I didn't get as many done as I would have liked for today's video but with everything else going on I was just kind of happy to have done what I did so I hope you like them uh, and without further ado let's get to my projects for today. My first project for today's video is this little picture frame I picked up. I don't even know how long ago. It's been quite some time. Had a, an old calendar uh, picture of a moose in it. So I took that off, uh, peeled the moose off as best I could, and then gave the frame a good coat of DIY's little black dress. I ended up only having to go over this one time because this paint is so highly pigmented that one coat was plenty to cover this little frame. I wanted some of that wood tone peeking through the black so I went ahead and wet distressed this just using a damp shop towel and wiping back any paint in areas that I wanted to see. Then I went ahead and just set the frame aside for the time being and moved on to the inside of the frame. I knew I wanted this to be a Valentine's Day themed uh, picture and I started off with just a plain heart cut out of regular paper that I printed out from my printer and then I put that on some watercolor paper so it was a little bit thicker, traced it out and cut that heart out. Once I had my base, I wanted to decoupage on some just random pieces of paper. So I grabbed an older book that had a nice patina to some of the pages to it and uh, just cut those apart or ripped them apart into little pieces. And then using the liquid, the clear liquid uh, patina by DIY, I just uh, decoupaged those pieces on one by one, just kind of randomly until the heart was covered. Then I took the back from the frame and traced that out as well on the watercolor paper and cut out that piece. And then I painted that because it was going to be the backdrop for my heart. I painted it with DIY's faded burlap. Then I set that aside to dry as well. Then I decided that wasn't quite cute enough and I had this lace that I've had just hanging out in a drawer. So I grabbed that and cut out a piece to go on the front of this faded burlap uh, backer and with some spray adhesive laid that down and glued it on. Then using a little bit more spray glue I sprayed the back of that and attached it to the picture frame backer so that it was ready to go back into the frame. Then I cut out the, the heart again, just getting rid of all of the overhang from some of the pieces of the book and decided to decorate this with a little piece of a transfer from a set that I'd already used some of called Wild Amorous by Redesign with Prima. So I just cut out this single little flower and used my fingernails to uh, set that transfer down. Then I just burnished it in with my fingers and set the heart aside again. And for the next step, I grabbed a piece of flower sack cloth. I have flower sack cloth that I dyed a while back with some coffee and I just rip it into strips and use the strips for all sorts of things like ribbons and in this case, stamping the word love on it. So this is a little stamp set I picked up on Amazon several years ago and I thought it was perfect, the lowercase letters, and I'm using just stays on ink. So I arranged my letters and then just press that down onto that piece of flower sack cloth. Then I grabbed my stays on ink. I wanted this heart to stand out a little bit better from the backdrop, backdrop, ugh, background. And so I went around the edges with the ink and then I used my finger to just add a little bit more of the ink to the book pages and give them a little bit more of an aged feel. Then I used some more spray adhesive and glued the heart down and then I put the love over the very tip of the heart. And then it was time to add a little ribbon. Now I just used two pieces of lace and two pieces of the flower sack cloth 
tied at the top with a piece of jute and attach that with some hot glue. And then for a little bit of sparkle, I added these cute little rhinestone uh, embellishments. I found these on Amazon quite a while back and bought several of them. So I've just had them kind of sitting around in my stash. Once that was done, I needed to seal up my frame still. So I grabbed that and some DIY clear wax and went over the entire frame with some clear wax and my soft bristle brush, just wiping back the excess as I went. And then I decided I really wanted to richen up the color of the wood peeking through. So I grabbed my dark wax. This also helps give the uh, black paint a little bit of a vintage look richens it up just a little bit i love the look of the dark wax over the black paint wiped back the excess and then this thing was ready to put back together again so i flipped it over added in my hardware and then this piece is done and i love how it turned out Project two is this cute little galvanized box. My husband and I found this in a little junk shop over on the west side of the state when we were over there for our anniversary. And I know it's just a Hobby Lobby box, but I think it could be a lot more special than it is. I knew that I really wanted to concentrate on making the lid of this box pretty. So I started by giving it two good coats of DIY's crinoline, which is this beautiful creamy off-white color that I absolutely love. I also painted the little wooden portion of the handle. I gave this two good coats of the paint as well. And as a reminder, any of the paint and products you see me using today can be purchased on my website at www.TheEclecticCottageSpokane.com. Once I'd finished up both of my coats of paint and they were completely dry, I moved on to decorating my lid. And for that, I grabbed another piece of the Wild Amorous Transfer Set. I absolutely love this set. The colors are so pretty and feminine. And I think this is a perfect complement for a Valentine's Day display. So I laid my uh, transfer down very carefully, making sure it was nice and flat pushed it down with my hand and then began applying it with that transfer stick. Now, the one thing I can say about transfers is they are pretty simple. You just rub, rub, rub with that transfer stick, uh, pushing that down into the paint and peeling back the piece of vellum. My advice is just go slow and make sure that as you're pulling that piece of vellum, all of your transfer is laying down. If you pull the vellum up and there's a little piece of your transfer stuck to it, just lay it back down and rub that area again with the transfer stick and it should blend right in. Once my transfer was done, I did burnish it in really well. I wanted to make sure that it was very well seated into that paint before I moved on. Then it was time to seal my paint and the transfer. And for that, I'm using DIY's Big Top. It's a very durable sealer, will help protect my transfer and seal the paint up at the same time. Now the thing to keep in mind about Big Top is it will leave a little bit of a sheen. So if you don't like that, I would suggest using wax instead. Then I decided to go ahead and put something on the front of my box. I grabbed my set of stamps called Alpha. This is by Redesign with Prima. And I put out the word flowers onto my backer board uh, in all uppercase and realized that that was way too long. So I put all the stamps back and grabbed the lowercase letters and I'll put those on my backer board, again, spelling out the word flowers. Once I had all of the stamps in place, I just laid it down to make sure I had room, which I did, thankfully. I stamped up my, or inked up my stamps with some stays on ink, uh, held them where I wanted them, gently laid them down, holding one end with my hand while I went over all the letters, pressing them down onto the galvanized metal. 
Now, when I pulled it back, I realized a couple of the letters weren't exactly stamped perfectly. So I just grabbed those and very carefully laid them back down over where I had stamped and pressed down to release the rest of that ink onto the metal. Once my stamps were finished, I wanted the lid to have a little bit of black on it as well. So I just went around the rim with my stays on ink and rubbed a little bit of a black rim around the edge. Then it was time to uh, add my hardware back. So I poked holes in the transfer and put my little bitty screws in and screwed one side down uh, and then attached my handle. Uh, this took me a minute just because all these pieces wanted to just slide right off. <laughs> so it took a minute, but I did manage to get the handle reattached. Then I decided the front was still a little bit plain. So I grabbed my uh, wild amorous transfer set again and just cut out some random little flowers and added those to the bottom corners on each side. And then I grabbed a little butterfly and added that right above the word flowers. As a last step, I sealed the word flowers with some matte spray by Rust-Oleum. And then I did go over the front with some big top. And then this piece was finished. today you guys thank you so much for being here I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please remember to give it a thumbs up I so appreciate that if you haven't already please think about subscribing to my channel and then just hit the little notification bell so you don't miss anything and don't forget to comment below and let me know which of the product projects in today's video your favorite was just a reminder any of the products you saw me use in today's video can be purchased through me at my website at www the eclectic cottage spokane.com it's listed in the description box below as well and looking forward to tuesday's video it will be another thrift flip go figure uh probably only a couple more items just because i am still working on uh, reorganizing building displays i also have a hutchback here that i need to do a little bit of repair work to because it's coming out and going over to my booth in Coeur d'Alene uh because my seed order that i just got in the mail is supposed to go there so I've got a little bit of work there to do too anyway I hope you guys have a great rest of your week thank you again for being here I so appreciate it uh, and I will see you on Tuesday bye <music>